are leaving Tim's Ford State Park in Winchester, Tennessee and heading toward Arkansas today, but there's a bunch of storms, so we don't know how far we'll get or if it's going to be a long day to get past them. So Chuck is taking the trash and checking the camper again and there's the three dummies in the back watching dad what he does. So we'll see y'all on the road. <laughs> This is 64 West in Waynesboro, Tennessee. We're going up this cliffy road here. We're on our way to Arkansas from Tim's Ford State Park. Okay, so we've had our first mishap. We are broke down on I-40 in Arkansas. And I'm gonna hand the camera off to Chuck while I wait on a phone call. Well, we were going down the road and I felt like something like when you have a tire blow out and you have to keep giving a little bit more power. Well, I got a trailer fault wiring, come back and I could smell something in this back tire right here was hotter than blazes. I disconnected the brakes hoping that would help until we could get somewhere and that didn't help either so now we're waiting on a mobile mechanic hopefully and um, they'll be able to help us out and get us back on the road. We're only about 500 miles down the road but it's a little disappointing that you got a 2019 camper with about 2500 miles on it and it's already got a problem like this. But we'll make the best of it. We'll be back on the road. We got five months, and I don't think this will keep us from getting on the road for the next five months. So did you tell them? It's all your fault? All right, well, we have called mobile, um, our roadside assistance people, and they have to try to locate a mobile mechanic to send to us. So now I'm waiting on the phone call to tell me how long I'm going to have to wait and how much we're going to have to pay to get us back on the road and then hopefully when we send this to Forest Rover they reimburse us but we're not holding our breath. So and we have really good puppies. Look how nice they're being back there. They're just looking around. 
being very, very patient. So their fun will come later. All right, we'll keep y'all posted. Okay, quick update on our breakdown. We, our first phone call was about 2.30 in the afternoon. It's now 4.20 um, and the mobile guy is on his way and he should be here within 45 minutes to one hour. So we're still waiting. And what, well, at least we're in a rest area off I-40. So we'll let you know how it goes. All right, the repair guy showed up and he needs us to drive to his shop to get repairs done. It's 30 miles down the road and he's following us, keeping an eye on, and he's got his emergency lights on. I just saw him. Okay, so here we go. So now we're limping disabled down Interstate 40 with the tech behind us, making sure, I guess we don't catch on fire. Well, we made it exactly half a mile on Interstate 40 westbound, and that wheel just started screaming. So now we're pulled over on the side of the interstate, and the tech and Chuck are out there. I don't know what's going on. So it wasn't good. So bad got even worse. So. Here we go. I have no idea what's going to happen, but one day at a time. Thank goodness it's not raining now. So now we've been um, sitting on the side of I-40 for 30 minutes. is completely melted on there and he's trying to chip it off so 
All right, next installment coming up. He did pull the wheel apart and all that kind of stuff. So it, the brake just disintegrated underneath it. Oh, and there's Chuck. Camping. What? We'll be camping at their shop tonight. Really? Yeah. Okay, the tech got us to where hopefully we can make it to his shop. And guess what? We're spending the night at their shop for free. We're boondocking in a repair shop for the night. So this will be fun. See that? That whole thing fell apart inside the hub. Uh, did, did he know why? Did he? Bad workmanship. Really? Or not done right. Or... So is he going to check all of them for us? No, he, I didn't ask him. Well, I mean, at the shop. Oh, I don't know. He's got to take every bearing out to do it. Oh. I wouldn't have him check everything out. Well, let's see what. Safe. Let's call. Let's call the manufacturer and see. What they'll pay for. Okay. And send them what? those pictures. Where are we going? Well, to his shop, right? So, whatever. 216? Is that what I told you earlier? I think so, yeah. I wonder if I call him. Who? Should I call the guy? That guy? Yeah. He's going to call us when we get close and okay. he's going to come around and we're going to follow him in. Okay. He's going to put us in the bay. He's going to call the guy for parts now on okay. our way. Okay. And see just to make sure. Okay. So what he did right now, he cut the wires and went to that electrical part okay. and taped them off and the hub has got like some tear in it. We have trailer parts here.
for God's sake. So the spring broke and it clicks came loose. All right, so if this is Friday morning, May 3rd. We spent the night at the shop and they're working on it this morning. And hopefully we can record a little bit. There's Chuck. There used to be brakes in there. See what it looks like when you take the brakes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. Even look like yeah. That much so around. that's the new part, and that is supposed to look like that. That we caught, he thinks we caught it in time because that part, I don't spindle. know what that part, the what spindle, the spindle isn't messed up. So, hold on, okay. Kirby in the middle and Chloe there. They say they're ready to hit the road again. Let's hit the road, Mom. Okay, today is Friday, May the 3rd, and we're still at the repair shop, the Delta Towing in Brinkley, um, Arkansas. They just got it done, so it's been 21 hours since the onset of the breakdown to actually being back on the road again. So, you know, it is what it is, and hopefully it won't happen again, and we got all the trouble out of the way at the beginning of the trip. So, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> 